much, little brother, and don't be afraid of anything. Remember, we are watching over you. Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play The Void! <laughs> the brothers had something to tell us, apparently, when we spawned in. That's both a comforting thing that they're trying to say, that follow our laws, don't worry about it a whole lot, we'll take care of you. But also, if you don't follow our laws, don't worry, will take care of you. In the, the last cycle, we had acquired a huge amount of violet and a decent amount of amber as well. And the brothers continued to uh, speak with us a bit about what our tasks are here, and even more brothers appeared from out of... I'm, I'm, a, I'm guessing they went into the nightmare again, where they originally came from when Color had left this area. Now that Color has returned, they are back to make sure that things are going to be the way that they used to be. We grew some more trees here and we discussed realm damage as well near the end of the last episode and now I need to figure out what we're doing for this one so first things first <clears throat> what colors the caves is such a small chamber that I can probably get ready to leave and just slot what I want in me to move around in the void immediately upon re-reaching it. So. Okay, right. The plan today is to visit Ima, a sister that is beyond Ava. So we'll need to fill Ava's second heart. It was 130-ish color to open Ava's first heart, and she wanted 200 color for that. Or her heart requires 200 color to satisfy it. So, we have, we should have the color between Violet and Amber to fill her second heart today. So, uh, we could do it right away, in fact, so we might actually do that on the way back over to Bastion, the mine in her realm, in order to harvest the azure and silver that we exposed there and extracted there yesterday. I think there's some gold right here in this chamber, right? I grew gold. We did. 52 gold today. Half of what was here originally. Okay, so... This means we can probably convert a little more gold. And we'll grab all the gold from this tree. Ima wants azure and emerald, I believe, as her colors. That's three sisters that want emerald. But we'll probably want to fill Uta's second heart with emerald, and we can use azure to fill Ima's hearts. Or at least that's going to be the plan. 104 silver. Do we need the silver? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, so let's take this. Don't fear death. There is no death in the void. Actually, we'll leave some silver here. Since we do have the mine to harvest some from. And I think there might be a little bit left in fog. And I don't want to overflow our lympha. Actually, we can still hold another 100 and something color. So, let's get, let's get what's in Bastion first. Since when you get a, mi a mines deposit, I think you'll get about 60 to 80 in it. And so we won't want to accidentally fill our lympha and not be able to make room for what we exposed. We could leave the color in the mine and not take it today, but I'd like to prove to the Mantid that we understand how to expose and extract color. I still think, however, it's a trap. 
and that we're not supposed to actually succeed at this. Don't fear death. There is no death in the void. We also retrieved the heart, I think. We got the heart yesterday? Yes, it was this one. Triangulate. <laughs> Not called triangulate, called something else. Where you drop some uh, things on the ground, three of them, and everything inside the triangle gets zapped with, uh, with, p with color power. Okay, this tree we're going to leave alone at the moment. If I was to grow a tree here, it would probably be crimson. But we need more crimson for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and leave. We've drained almost all the color from this place except the silver. We can always come back here for that silver as well. All right, so let's leave, and we're going to head over to... I was about to say Ava's. I would like to get even more Violet. We'll give her almost all the Violet we can. What colors actually should we give Abbas? Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, so, mm. all right, we'll keep in this video. We'll keep all my thinking on screen. Violet is arguably a better color to have in your uh, to have available in your lympha because you can use that to help you grow trees, Tim. Amber just helps you convert color more quickly. Give her all your amber. And hold on to the violet for when you get into Ema's realm so that we can give color, we can grow trees in her realm. We will continue to convert Azure. Okay, let's go ahead and head over to Ava next. Let's try to do this without any cuts if we can as well today. All right, so, well, we're getting a ton of Azure, so we might as well continue to use Azure to do things. And it looks like, I think this is Montgolfier, is on his way down to us. So, okay, so here's, he'll be the plan. We're going to go right away to Bastion and drain the color from it. We kind of don't need to do that, actually. No, let's go to Ava. We'll go to Ava and fill her second heart. And from there, if we have over, and we will, we do have enough Azure, we should probably go to Ema next. We'll be able to actually speak with Montgolfier at that point. I think. I think we get to talk with the brothers when we traverse over their symbol. For every one of them that isn't Whaler and the Manted. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> recall that we talked about realm damage yesterday, and we're about to give color to Ava. This means that we want a hundred silver in us before we do that to make sure that we will be reducing the amount of damage her realm suffers. Then, we want to make sure that we have as much gold in us as possible to get 100% trust. So that this is more efficient. Okay. And now, we'll go ahead and talk with her. Hello, Ava. Alright, so... Wait. The more gold there is in you, the faster you'll feed me. 
I completely missed that statement the first time I had managed to fill one of her hearts, and I still didn't understand how gold was to be used to help you more efficiently feed Sister's Color. I thought that was some sort of metaphor about how we should have color in us in general, not specifically gold, yeah. I'm, I'm not the brightest bulb in the box sometimes. But yet again, Ava is trying to help us understand how different colors should be put into us before we feed the sisters color. It's a really interesting way in which the game designers went about this, because the first time you probably make it as far as filling Ava's second heart, you have probably not put gold in you when you gave when you give color to the sisters. Not without well, maybe by accident, but probably not to get 100% trust. So Ava's the first sister that you encounter trying to explain all this to you, which means that, in my case, I had the overwhelming desire to start all over again and to try to do these, these things a little bit better because I was running out of color from every location at this point since I had used so much of it to fill Uta's uh, first heart, Nameless's hearts, and Ava's first heart. We have Azra currently selected, which is why we get that sound. And we're going to give her all the ember? Let's, let, we'll leave us with 20 amber. So we'll go, yeah. We'll leave us with 20 amber and we'll give her a, a hundred and twelve. I don't want to rot in this corpse anymore. How long can one exist, yet not live? How long can one sleep while rotting alive? Tell us, how can we keep color forever so it's always plentiful? You know, don't you? Who else, if not you? Unfortunately, Ava, I don't know how we keep color forever. Well, the more that the sisters' realms are harmed, the less color there is. Which would mean that the best way to keep color forever is to provide you with a trickle of it. A very, very small amount of it. While at the same time, taking only what is needed from the chambers in which we find it. The brothers would then be correct. But this seems like an awful way for you to exist, Ava. Or any sister, for that matter. And we got credit for 112, as now she has 204 of 400. So we can probably give her about the same amount of violet. We'll give her a hunt. Yeah, let's give her the same amount. We have more violet in us. All right, so my thoughts right now are that when we get to Ema's, we will grow a violet tree in her realm so that we can get more color of vi the violet nature in the future. We'll want more violet. Uh, um, uh, stop. Stop. We're going on tangents. All right, let's give her color. Don't go to Ola, Golden Eyes. Stay with me. I'm better. And forget Sister Death from the greenhouse. What did you ever see in her? Let her go. She's not your mother. <laughs> She's imagining things. 
That stretch must have felt rather good to do. Uh, it seems like the sisters could use some... To, could probably benefit from moving around a bit more. Once again, we're told about Ola, and Ava seems, just like Nameless, to assume that we are making our way over to her. Ola was the sister on the swing who reached out to us to let us know that she's waiting for us. I, as of cycle 14, when I played this game earlier, I was, I didn't understand, mm, what, no, let's, hold on. Alright everyone, sorry about the cut. I'm trying to collect my thoughts for a bit. These sisters seem to know something about Ola that I do not. And I mean that both from our character's perspective and me the player. I did not it was not revealed to me what special purpose Ola has for me, as, as Eva has, as is affectionately calling us Golden Eyes. There seems to be some sort of special link between Ola and I, but I don't know what that is or why it's there if it is there. The sisters seem to also want us to stay specifically with them individually, or at least Ava did, and Nameless asked us to not visit the Elder Sisters, which would mean that we were limiting ourselves to only Nameless's realm, which at which there's no, not enough color there. If we were to obey Nameless, we would starve to death eventually. Her advice would kill us. Unless we got very lucky with the amount of color that would show up in her particular realm. So, just as what had Nameless has suggested, we will ignore what Ava is suggesting, even though I do like Ava as the best sister, and we'll go ahead and proceed onward and see if we can make it to Ola. Ola is still two chambers, though, away from us at the moment. We will have to pass through... Eli? Or El Ellie? Ellie? Eli? We have to pass through Ellie or... Actually, no. Ellie does not lead to Ema. Ellie leads to Yanni. So we'll... We need to pass through Ema's chambers next if we want to reach Ola. Alright, Ava. We will return to you later. Even though I did not fill a sister's third heart, I would occasionally still give them color to see if they would say anything else. I'm not sure if we'll have to fill every sister's third heart at some point in the game. But getting a start on it could be something useful to do. If we're doing very, rather well, we will also have a quite a bit of color in our Lympha or Nerva that we'll have to start giving away. I don't like the idea of wasting color into the void. Anyway, all the gold comes out of us, because we're going to need this gold when we talk to Ima. We'll continue to let this Azure fill us. We're about to give all of this, or most of this, to Ima when we see her. And since we're giving color to Ima, we will want to make sure that we have enough color in us to once again get 100% frost, since we don't want to damage her realm very much. The emerald, I guess, we can leave in us? And I guess we'll also convert that little bit of gold. <clears throat> you know what I'm going to do? Let's move all this emerald. Oh! Violet. <clears throat> Interesting. So we have a choice to make here. We're not going to have enough violet to grow a tree in Ema's realm at the moment with only 42, at least not fully. And I want to fully grow trees whenever we can. It's it's probably better that we grow the tree fully rather than use inspiration to give it less color to do so. In other words, right now we have a difficult choice to make. Do we drain more violet 
we won't have 100% inspiration then when we go over to Ima and grow a tree there. But we should hopefully have enough color to fill it. It'll take about 70, I think, color to fill, or maybe even a little more, to fill the trees over in Ima's garden. Or do we just fill it with 42 and get 100% inspiration? I think I'd rather have all the color put into the tree. So we're going to try to drain our violet very quickly by scattering it into several different hearts. When we reach Ima, we will probably have enough violet, because it's going to take us... Well, actually, it won't take us very long at all. Maybe five seconds to reach her, if that. But that would still end up being five seconds from each of these hearts is five color from each of these hearts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty color, which would be enough to fill a tree. The rest of the violet could be taken out, and we'll hold on to it into our lympha to fill a heart with it. As much of it as we can to help us reduce the cost of filling the trees in her realm. All right, let's go. We do still have the mine, but we'll come back to that. Let's first get over here to Ima. Oh! Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> oh, I played up that we would actually get to talk with uh, Montgolfier, but we did not do so. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and visit Ima. Right away, you might have heard flapping. Ima's has predators in her chamber itself. Eye wings are here. Also, uh, Ima has a heart right here in her realm as well. Wasp. This glyph creates an annoying golem out of dust and dead roots. After creation, the wasp golem follows its creator until it's chased away with a drop of color. Annoyed at its rejection, the golem leaves its master and seeks out an enemy to harm. Upon colliding with the target, the wasp golem explodes and dies, scolding the victim with released color. The more color the golem is charged with, the farther it sees and the greater the damage it does on collision. Oh wow, I forgot about that one. <laughs> I don't mean the glyph, I mean the tutorial. Uh, what the glyph shows you, you're going to be using it on. Uh, wasp sounds like it creates something like a a wisp that follows you. And you can spend another drop of color on it to cause it to immediately go and seek out the closest thing and attack it. That could be useful for dealing... And actually, it's the first combat glyph we've retrieved that would not require a good amount of work to use it on the predators that we see or are finding. I think... I think think combat glyphs are more efficient at dealing damage to enemies than are, say, uh, brush strokes to attack with color normally. So we'll try using that in the future if we have to actually slug it out with a predator. If you have a lot of patient emerald, your color will become viscous. And you'll lose much less of it when you're wounded. <laughs> oh! 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 We got smacked by an eye wing. I did not even see it. Thankfully, we did have emerald in us. We had about. Four, it looked like maybe up to fifty. Though I think le oh less than that, which reminds me, by the way. We don't want any more of this violet in us because we want to use this to grow a tree. So we don't want to accidentally convert it. Mm -hmm. 
this location we're in is obviously, or maybe not so obviously, uh, is Ema's. And it is called Ema's Tower. That heart that we retrieved is at the top of Ema's Tower. Uh, pretty obvious. <laughs> I'm saying obvious things at the moment to fill, I guess, the air between my microphone and, <laughs> and myself. Uh, it's possible to miss that heart if you don't double back to check to see what's just around the corner from where you start at. But having played the game a little bit before, I knew it was there. And look at this stuff. You're not going to get me a second time, you freaking jerk. This image in particular... As if someone's suffering. These look like... This. That one looks like one of the shadow monsters... From Don't Starve to Me. Where it could be a skull... Where this is both like a looks like a claw, but also that could be its teeth. The big circle is its is its eye socket, like some sort of creepy, grinning face. We're just gonna pass under him. Oh no, we got hit again. God, I hate you so much. Keep going, Tim. Run. You can't you can't spend time looking at this stuff. There's too many eye wings around. What do we lose? This is a great opportunity to see what we actually lost. It said minus seven. We lost a little bit of gold. We lost one, two, three, four, five gold. I'm guessing the other colors that we lost were a little bit of azure. I like the tone that plays when you lose color as well. I have to pass right under you. Woo. We could cheat here. Well, not cheat. But we could do something that I think would be safer than what we're currently doing. We could throw ourselves off the side of the tower. At which point we would appear at the bottom of the tower. Which is where we're trying to go if we walk into this location a second time. Recall that the first time you enter a sister's realm, you will appear in a different location than where I think you'll end up every other time you enter her realm. We could avoid all of the eye wings, but we'll go ahead and just run down this tower, and we're at the bottom at the moment anyway. Well, if there was any doubt that the sisters are actually imprisoned, or captured, or jailed. This probably removes all doubt, unless this was something of Ema's own design that she constructed for herself. Hello, Ema. Been a while since I've seen you. She wears her hair around her neck as well, like that, like a scarf of some sort. It's very fortunate you came, kind guest. We've been waiting a long time for someone who can give, and you're finally here. Of course, this depends entirely on your own will. We don't have the right to ask. But nobody except you is capable of succeeding with the right of devotio. Before I die, kind guest, I want to explain how important you are to us. I ask only that you please give me emerald or azure, or I won't have the strength to continue. We don't know what that right of devotio is. Sounds like it means right of devotion. But I'm not quite sure if that's something that we would utilize, or the sisters. I believe what she means by waiting a long time for someone to give is such that the void's been so empty due to the famine that none of the sisters have gotten any color from anyone from some time. Once again, remember that the brothers, I believe, used to feed them color, though it sounds like not very much. In fact, the brothers, I guess they must use color in a similar way to us, 
since Manta gave us a heart, which means that they know that we should be able to draw glyphs, unless they don't, and the heart was even more of a trap to see if we will be able to use a heart, and thus prove to them that we are not a brother, because they cannot use such. Anyway, let's go ahead and give her some Azure. We have 155, so we'll give her 120. That should be enough to fill her first heart. I suppose you want this yourself, turning death into life. To return life to the one who lost you, even if it's all but impossible. Well, it would be a miracle, and miracles are costly. The price would be a heroic deed, no less. When it's asked to leave, death demands a sacrifice of equal price. But you're only a vessel, a still. Converting the old into the new. You grow, Nerva, yes, but there's nothing great about that. A heroic deed would be giving away all that you've grown. Trust us. If not me, then another sister. You can consider this a law, too. The only way to create something new is to sacrifice all of your color and die a suffering death. It sounds as if we will be needing to do that very thing. She's pointed out that we can use our hearts to uh, transform Lympha into Nerva, but other creatures can do that too. I guess the brothers are able to do so. Maybe the, sis the sisters have hearts, as they've given us these things too, so they must be able to fill those hearts with color. But I guess we have to fill their hearts specifically. Uh, uh, well, yes. We fill their hearts directly with color, and then they, I, I suppose, they fill their own Nerva with the heart, with the color we've put into their hearts, but they don't own any Lympha. In any case, just converting it into Nerva, she's pointed out, isn't anything special. But it would be a great sacrifice to give all the Nerva that we've actually collected away. And it sounds like this might be something we will have to do in the future. Note as well that for Ema, more than any of the other sisters, her chains actually look like chain links. And we saw a uh, around her, well, her breasts, they were shattered upon us giving her color. This makes me think that the sisters have some control over what these look like, too, I'm guessing. Ava's, once again, look like blossoms to me. Uta's looked just like lines, which created the boat she was in. For Nameless, they're just ropes. So, somewhat similar to the cord she has on her one arm. Hmm. Alright, Ima. We'll be back. Die because of this. I don't... Hello. What is this? Interesting. This looks... I don't... Maybe it's a nod to it. But this little thing here, we, we can't interact with it. We can't reach it. It looks a lot like one of the... Uh, the memory capsules in the Amnesia game. Amnesia the Dark Descent. Doesn't it? It looks like it to me. It could just be a lantern that she's hiding. But I, I think that's a nod to Amnesia Dark Descent. This game came out, I think, when did it... In 2016? And Amnesia came out, I think, in 2012? 
Although this is kind of a horror game. The horror is a bit different in this one than it is in Dark Descent, which is actually, well, not a horror game in the way most people would anticipate a horror game. This one has abstract and sometimes... That's what I'm looking for. Unnerving visuals. Okay, so before we head back out here, let's make sure that we have the colors that we want. So... We need to keep converting some Azure. We can't put all of it here because we have Azure in the mine of Bastion that we want. But since we are here now, we should probably grow color in Ema's garden. Since we're going to do that, this means we want at least 85 silver in our lymphos. So we can plot it in our hearts when we show up there. We'll grow silver, violet, and emerald in her realm at the moment. We might grow a gold tree, too, since we do have a bunch of gold. You know, we can wait to do that. Let's convert a little bit more gold. Okay, so we'll just leave it. We'll leave these colors in us at this moment. And let's head over to her garden. I'm first actually going to do the save and reload thing really fast uh, because I want to hover over these chambers. Actually, I guess we'll do, we'll, we'll do it on screen. So normally I cut the recording and I would quick save and then I would quickly hover over these chambers to see what colors are there. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, so there's no saplings or color or fireflies or dancing lights in either of these chambers. This is a mine here. That is the wall. Until there's color there, there's no reason for us to visit it at all. Actually, that's not true. There could be a heart there. There could be a heart there. So we should visit it. But I will come back for the mine. I only really want to go to mines if there's color. But there's a heart, Tim. You'll be glad to go there. Okay, let's go to... Let's go to the garden first. Now we're going to want to watch what Montgolfier is doing as well. Or Gauthier. Because we'll need to beat him to cave. Actually, no, we joined... Did we leave any color in caves? I think we left a little bit of silver. Alright, everyone. This place is called Bridge. I suppose for this, which looks like a drawbridge of sorts. The music here, for some reason, makes me think of winter. The wind is howling, and it looks like there's snow. Although I think this is just gray rock. The trees are dead, as all trees have been for some, quite some time. And that looks like one of the strange spiky trees from the Anachronox game. We should go up there and see what that is, too. We don't hear any predators, and I wouldn't expect any in a not-reservation this early on in a sister's realm until we start- Well, actually, that's not true. We did give Ima 200 color, but we did have gold and silver in us when we did so. So hopefully, that greatly reduced the amount of damage that we did to this area. Okay, let's stop babbling and start growing. Oh, but if I'm going to grow... Once again, we're going to want as much frost in us to, well, we want 100% frost. We've got enough color to do that. We will want 
violet. And we don't have enough violet to give us much. Uh, sorry. As much inspiration as I would like. But it's at least 55%. Okay, so this should be good. Let's start growing. So, we'll go ahead and grow a violet tree here. You're wasting your soul. We didn't check it, but I know, based on my map and the notes here... Oh, which reminds me. Do I have a pencil around? I do not. Okay, we filled one of Ema's hearts. Okay. No one can see... That. You know, at the very end of this attempt, or rather this uh, attempt, this... Uh, the playlist, I will show you guys the map that I'm looking at at the moment. Since I drew one for myself to understand where everything is, what sisters are where, what colors they want, how many hearts I've filled, and what chambers are adjacent to them. At, the, at this moment, Yanni is the only one that I don't have all the information for, since I did not unlock a heart for her. So I don't know what type of chamber is near her. It looks like I didn't visit her either, because I don't see what colors are poisonous to her. Anyway, let's fill this with violet. For Ima, she, uh, poisonous colors are violet and amber, which is interesting, because... For uh, Ima, uh, um, Ava wants Amber and Violet, and she's right next door to Ima. So this is a good spot to grow those colors if you do want to give Ava more color. But of course, you can't reach this location until you filled two of her hearts. So perhaps this information isn't so useful. Remember, though, that when we use color... To do anything in a sister's realm, it would be best to use the colors which she finds, uh, which are Amatha, is that right, correct word I'm looking for? Uh, to her. Now, if a brother walks into this chamber, that's fine, because he can't drain this color until tomorrow. But we will want to watch what the bro where the brothers are going. We'll grow an emerald tree. Oh, if I grow an emerald tree here, Tim, this is the color she likes. Maybe we don't do that. Let's grow a silver tree. You're I should check to see how much color it costs to do this, by the way. Let's see. We'll grow a gold as well. So we have 107 gold. Let's see how much it is to fill a tree with 55% inspiration. Beautiful, isn't it, these trees? When given color. Look how gorgeous that looks. I used to have a willow oak that was so beautiful to look at. In both the summer and fall. Oh, spring, summer, fall. Alas, I had to cut it down. A giant crack in it made it uh, weakened. It was still alive and, f and arguably fine. But we've had so many windstorms here in New Jersey recently. It was just too risky to keep it uh, intact. It would splinter. It was a, it was a three or four story tall willow oak. It was, it was massive. I couldn't wrap my arms around it. It was huge. Alas... I felt so bad chopping it down. Okay, so that's all the trees I think we're going to be growing here. Oh crap, how much color? We had 107? So it was 53 gold to grow that tree. So we could grow an emerald tree here if we so desire. Maybe we should. Sorry, I'm looking over at the map at the moment, seeing which which sister is poisonous to Emerald. That would be... Irie? 
who was past Uta. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, past Uta. It's Emerald we were just talking about. Okay, hmm. We'll need to fill Uta's second heart, though, and I don't have the Emerald for that at the moment, but maybe we could... You know, let's... We'll work on that tomorrow. Let's, let's grow an Emerald Tree here. I know it's a color that... Uh, whatchamacallit, likes. Ima likes. But we're still going to do it. You're losing yourself. Okay. Uh oh, are we not? We can get up here? Yes, we can. Alright, good. Alright, now that's all the trees I plan on growing here. So we'll. You know what, Tim? You probably can afford to keep all this silver in you and get it over here because you're going to pick up so much silver tomorrow now that you have all these, all these trees. Keep the gold in you. Take out a little more gold. Since we grew a violet tree here, we can probably remove... Uh, we can probably convert all this violet. Okay, so we'll, we'll just leave all the colors that we currently have in us in us and let them be converted over to Nerva. It's still early on in this cycle as well. Now let's look around to see what else is here. A spiral staircase, in a manner of speaking, leading up to this area. There's at least one more tree. One, two, three, four. Four more trees here, too. 75 color will fill this and make it a trap that will harm a brother. Some ruins at the bottom of the drawbridge. An exit portal of some sort. You know, I, I thought it was a drawbridge, but no. This is a suspension bridge. It just only has a bit of it here. The rest of it must have crumbled at some point. Actually, but although it doesn't really need the suspension part, right? It's got the pillars coming up from the ground down below. So there's four trees left. Just telling myself how many trees, keeping in mind how many trees are left over here. Five trees, six, seven trees total still left. Okay, wow, quite a bit of color can be grown here. As usual, I will be doing what I call a crop ro color rotation <laughs> here since I don't really want to completely fill a garden with color. As that means if we need to em emerge, uh, as an emergency grow color here to survive the next day, we won't be able to do so. Now, there's a heart here. Did you guys see it? I didn't. But I suspect there's one here in this. And there is. I went through this particular chamber. Rather, which is to say I reached it. Colored trees and left it. Probably up until... Uh, about the cycle 14 from the from the prior recording it, uh, playlist that's uh, I scrapped last summer. I've been here many times and never even thought there could be a heart hidden in that ruin until I accidentally managed to see it one time after forgetting to fill a tree, turning around and seeing the glow right there. But how do we get it? There's no crouching in this game. Well... Do we have a glyph that can help us here? Let's see. Repulse would work. Repulse. This glyph creates a small beacon by reviving dead roots. 
The beacon forces dense, solid objects to move away from itself, and the more color you charge the beacon with, the heavier the object it can repulse and the longer the effect. Oh, look at this, everyone. It tells us what a minimum is. So if we were to draw, I didn't realize it actually tells you that. So certain glyphs require a minimum amount of color. Does it does expose? expose. This extract. No. This. OK, those don't say there's a minimum amount of color, but I'm pretty sure there's an exact amount of color for those. All right. So let's try throwing the debris away it's a reverse g since she and by she i mean ima does not like amber or violet we'll use violet for this and we'll put 20 in actually no let, let's no let's use silver because we can put more than 20 in i'm not quite sure if it's going to be enough color if I just use 20 to throw these away. I would like to use 25, so let's try that. You will die because of this. Nice! Hey! Hawk. This glyph creates an obedient golem out of sharp twigs. After coming to life, the golem rises into the air and waits until its creator marks a target with color, at which point it rushes to the target and pierces it. The more color the hawk is charged with, the farther it sees and the more damage it does on collision. tutorial we actually can look at okay nice it looks like that's the same thing as wasp wasp no wasp follows you hawk you actually have to you're stopping standing and making the attack wasp it, the thing just continues to follow you until then you mark a target okay okay well let's go ahead actually it's wasp actually sounds like it's a it's a hunter seeker so it will it will change it will arc it well hawk sounds like it will do that too Okay, let's let's head back out into the void. And now we're off to the mine in Bastion. We can explore the mine here at the wall in the next cycle, since we're coming back here to gather the color that we grew. Okay, two things of import. We have another brother coming down to, in this area. We saw two others appear from the void yesterday. Both of which seem to be machine-like, right? One has a giant rock it's riding around on, but the rock resembles some sort of, like, a beach ball. <laughs> For lack of a better term, a boulder. Uh, that it's, that it's, uh, mechanical bits are over. And then we've got the other brother, who's, like, on some sort of giant drill as he moves around. I, I can't tell who this is until we start moving, since we're not allowed to get a summary of who these are until we're not paused. I think what we're going to do is come down here, back to Ava, and we'll, we'll want to do it quickly. So we'll spend... Oh! We'll want to spend some color that isn't azure, because we're in Ema's realm currently. So let's spend silver... Actually, no, we'll spend gold. Let's spend gold and get us back to Ava. Okay, Montgolfier is heading down to Nameless's realm. This other brother is still wandering down this corridor to reach Ema. Let's go to the Ma uh, to Bastion next. Okay, there's going to be quite a bit of azure here. But we should still put more azure in us, since we don't want to take damage while we're here. 
the rest of the color stays. I can hear a hopper. I think we left the small hopper here, but we destroyed the big one yesterday? And we also- right! Yesterday we had the dancing lights around here, the wisps. And we drained so much azure from them. Which has been really handy for us today to keep us moving around very quickly. 93 silver, holy crap! And 93 more azure. Well, it looks like you're ready to face the mantid now. Maybe that's what he wanted from you. Uta, I hope what you mean is that we can... We were able to prove to him that what we can do by face, as in... Meet him face to face, as opposed to face off against him like a fight. Since that's going to be a bit nightmarish. <laughs> Quite literally, given what the Mantid looks like. And given that we don't have very much Nerva to fight with at the moment. Alright, let's get out of here now. And we'll head on over to Nameless's realm. And we'll spend Azure to get us there. We saw there was lots of crimson down here in Fireflies. Uh-oh. Whaler's leaving his waiting room to go somewhere. He's probably going to go here. So we'll want to go back there to drain more silver. But first, this crimson. We absolutely want that. We don't have any significant amount of crimson at the moment. No talking. <laughs> oh, okay, there's more fireflies here today. Okay. So. Let's get us back up to a hunt to 100% frost. This way, when we leave drops around to draw the fireflies. They... Uh, we will do less damage to Nameless's realm. We've been doing a lot of things in Nameless's realm. So of all the realms so far, she is likely to be the most hurt. Ava is probably second. Actually, it might be actually worse for Ava at the moment. Thanks to how much we've done in her realm too, including filling her second heart. Once we have about 170 silver and 170 emerald, we'll go over to Uta and fill her second heart at that point. We might be able to do that tomorrow. Okay, let's watch. It is on the way. I'm guessing that the fireflies today will drop crimson for us. Drop some color on the ground using the donor glyph. When these small creatures bite the bait, you'll be able to catch them. Okay, so we can probably get enough crimson from fireflies after it's all converted to grow a crimson tree. If we're going to do that, we should draw we should bring that tree to life in Ava's No. Uta's realm. Well, that's heathen. I guess that could work. But we won't be able to actually grow things there until uh, two more days have passed. I 
hear the flapping. I'm assuming there's another firefly, but there might not be. We saw quite a few fireflies, I think, when they were here last time. Five of them or so? But there's no guarantee of how many you'll, uh, will appear if they do appear. How much violet? We have no violet. We're picking up violet tomorrow, though. I will teach you to bring the dead to life. We'll keep a little bit there. So if a brother... We, we're going to try to tempt a brother. Oh, there's another firefly. Okay, hold on. Where's the, where's the eye wings? There's one. Excellent. 29 more crimson. Both eye wings are on that side. Let's continue to convert. Crimson. If there's a... Well... <clears throat> killing an eye wing is tempting to make this a bit less uh, aggravating to collect the color, but I think we'll be okay. You have to balance your how much frustration it can be to maneuver around in an area compared with how the fact that you will do damage to a sister's realm by attacking the predators in it. I know an eye wing just went down there, but I don't think they attack from below. It's even more silver. Do we need this? Take all of it. Okay, we want to go back up those stairs and collect the emerald at the very top. Once again, we're leaving a little bit of color in that violet bush in the hopes that it will tempt a brother down here and thus keep them away from a different look. Oh, there's another firefly, a different location. Oh, Azure. Okay, right, that's odd. I mean, it's possible. Fireflies can drop different types of color besides the main color they'll all drop when you're there. We have just enough space to hold that Azure too. Ooh, the Crimson Sapling. Oh, it's several up here actually. We'll keep some silver around at the... Actually, no, Tim, you should try to grow a Crimson Tree. The enemy will fall before you Heathen, though, oh, just reservations. I would want to draw. We'd have to make three trees, and that's several days away. No, no, no. You'll have to. You'll have to do this in one of the other sisters' realms. Oh, this is going to be a bit tricky. Ema. Well, no, or Ava, but Ema's. Oh, I'm not sure yet. I guess we won't do it. We, we have time still to determine when... Fury. Yeah. We don't need to do it quite yet. I'm not making much sense. I apologize, guys. I was going through... My, was going through I'm just babbling, saying words without them being coherent. Uh, I'm trying to think of where I want to grow a crimson tree. And how much color I'll want in me to begin that process. Growing a tree in Ema's... Will have even less violet to grow it today so uh, we'll grow a crimson tree tomorrow then instead which will give us time to convert all of this crimson into nerva okay let's get out of here now where do we go there's a little bit of color maybe in heathen there might be a little bit of violet there. I don't think that's worth the effort it would take to get us there, though. I would like to talk with the other brothers, however. There might be some... Oh, you know what? There's color in fog. So we gotta go to fog. There isn't much color in fog. But there's some. So let's go there. But watching with the other brothers where they're going.
Now, many of these... Many of these trees will probably have next to n nothing in them, or yeah, or nothing in them now. Since we've ensured that they're going into their dormant cycle. Good. That was the six. This will have two in it tomorrow. No regrets. Can we even hold that azure? No, we can't. Not all of it. Actually, no, we can. Just barely. Hold six more. I have the color of your power and the Five in the tree. And I think this one might have three. Nope, okay, we're done. Perfect. I think we'll leave fog now untouched and let the brothers raid what's left in it. There'll be a little azure we'll give up. I don't I don't really care. The same thing with the silver. They can keep taking it. Okay. Maybe, maybe we'll get a chance to see some new brothers today and how they speak and what they're like. So let's go ahead and spend some silver and move us into Nameless and maybe we'll collide with whoever this is. Tyrant! I am Tyrant, strongest of the brothers. Some of us doubt whether you are truly one of the righteous. Your appearance suggests that you have not suffered even a hundredth of what we went through for our ascension. So expect to prove your worth. If you are not who you say you are, then you are an enemy and a threat to the Creator, like the sisters. Yet you have nothing to say because you are mute. I will not waste time on the obvious. If you come to tempt and destroy, there is no point in sharing knowledge with you. He brings death to the sleeper. He must be executed, brothers, and executed at once. I don't remember seeing Tyrant spawn. That's interesting. Why did he not spawn? We didn't- I don't think we saw him, uh, pardon the, the humorous uh, way to describe this, roll out of the nightmare, as it were. Maybe I accidentally cut one of the brothers who showed up, and we had three appear yesterday. Or maybe it's that- so I loaded the autosave, as opposed to the hard save I made today. And I do know that some of the brothers that appear are random. In so much that you could get, we we might not have seen Tyrant until the next cycle or two. Whenever it was, he supposed he would. The game decides he's just he's going to show up. So we're not guaranteed to get any particular brother, other than I think the first three brothers who we saw. So this might mean the brother who's coming down here might not be the guy on the on the boulder, unless I'm just crazy and we actually had him show up and I don't remember him showing up. That's interesting. Okay. Well, Tyrant doesn't trust us. He doesn't... Uh, apparently, he's saying that we're not just existing humbly and not speaking because we're choosing to, as that's a right thing to do for a novice. No. He's not speaking because he can't speak. And that's a hint that he is not a brother because he should be able to, to speak. Interesting. Then the brothers, as we'll see when we meet more of them, will also talk to each other, which is a hint as which they will be telling you how they voted in regards to your apprenticeship and if they trust you or not. Let's go up here now. Okay, Whaler is yet again going into caves to get the color from there. We will beat him there and prevent that from happening. There isn't much color here, but I don't want him taking this silver. Now, we could set a trap for him and just leave the silver here, but I don't see why uh, that wizard doesn't... That's not an efficient use of color. Let's 
That's not a really efficient use of color. It would take 40 to fill the trap. I mean, we could show you how it works, but you'll get- we will be using them in the future. Let's make sure that all- oh. Oh. I left all the azure here. Oh, wow. It looks like we might be filling Ima's second heart. <laughs> oh, wow. That's an incredible amount of color of Azure to leave behind. I d so, we can't hold any of that. We'll hold two in our Lympha. So, if we want to take the 52 and stop him from getting it, which I do, then we'll just have to convert more Azure. The awkward part about doing it this way is just that we are not going to have... Obviously, that 52 color isn't in this uh, this tree, which means that we can't have it tomorrow. Which means that if we had left it here, we probably could have dropped down with all the color just in our donor glyph heart. And then had even more azure to put into us tomorrow. That didn't make any sense to what you're trying to describe. There's a reason why you want to leave color in trees and not draw it, because it's like you're leaving a deposit in a bank, you let it sit there and not touch it. But the moment you drain it and spend it, it's gone. So we have to, we want to balance out how much color we are converting amongst how much color we are leaving around. But in this instance, if we left that 52 color azure here, and Wheeler reaches this garden, he'll just drain all the color from here. The silver that we left behind, and the azure that we left behind. We don't want to do that. I don't want him having any color. From our hard work. Oh my goodness, Tim. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we should be able to fill one of Uta's hearts tomorrow. That is when we grew. Oh! We want to grow a crimson heart uh, tree today. But we're going to need more color to do that. No, we'll grow it tomorrow. We'll grow it tomorrow. We'll pick up Violet from Ema's chambers and grow the crimson heart in this chamber tomorrow. Okay, let's leave and see if we can speak with the other brother who, who is currently getting through Avis Chambers. And... I guess we'll spend some silver to get us there. Good. One of the rebels has been punished. But the others are excited by rumors that color has reappeared. Visit them, brothers, and remind your murderer that they should not hope for change. We will guard our heaven and reclaim its strength and dignity. As for this young one, I don't believe him. Not just because he's small, but I sense that he can see. He's not a follower, he's a mute. The righteous must be blind and have no doubts in order to glorify this holy place. I don't believe him and I won't teach him. He is mute, therefore he is alive. There is a living one among us, brothers, and he is bringing death to the sleeper. Good voice on that guy, Pit. And he doesn't like us at all. <laughs> this is the second time we've heard the phrase murderer. I... I think... I mean, I don't know. I, I think what they're referring... To, that's a weird way to kind of... You toned that uh, statement. So... I, it was not revealed to me by Cycle 14, once again, as far as I had made it in this game prior. I think what they're referring to by murderer here... Maybe? Is that... The sisters, they're blaming them for the death of color, and thus why they left the brothers. Because they were almost... Maybe they were, maybe they died and now are back, having been revived. 
of the Nightmare with Colors return. So Pitt's saying, go back to the sister you oversee and remind them that this is the way things are going to be between us and you and the Void and everything of the sort. Interesting, but uh, uh, everything of the sort, Tim. <laughs> Let's just leave it in. Uh, <laughs> I maybe get angry at myself for... It's... Ah, one sec. I need to put a cut here. Okay. <laughs> uh, back. Right. So, what are we... Let's just skip everything else I would have said. What, what are we doing now? We have 51 seconds left in this current cycle. There is another sister who we could visit up here. Ellie, or Eli, is her name. She wants silver and crimson. And we should have the silver to fill her first heart. It's always probably... It's, it's good if we can fill sisters' hearts quickly to gain access to the chambers that they oversee. As this way, if color sprouts there, in the form of sprouts or fireflies or like, we'll be able to take it. So... Why don't we go to her and fill one of her hearts? We should have enough silver to do it. It does mean that we won't fill Uta's second heart. Looking over at the other sisters past Uta on my map, Una wants crimson and azure. Ayer wants amber and gold. I think we need to go to Una. I think there's something we need in her realm. Yes, there is. Okay, I just remembered. So, oh, that's frustrating. That's very frustrating. Because I would love to visit Ayer today. Okay, Ayer today. You know what? Well, we, mm, we grew two trees over here for silver and emerald. All of that color, if converted, will be enough to fill Uta's second heart. So I will risk going to Ayer and filling her first heart today. So let's do that. Since we are currently in Ava's realm, we want to spend a color that's not azure. So let's spend some gold. Irie or Ayers airship. For most of the sisters that we've seen, or actually all the sisters we've seen so far, the chambers seem to be very There's no... There's a hint that civilization exists by some of the imagery there. Uta sits in a boat, and there's some metal fencing there. Ava has an actual, like, statue of a cat girl up, up in, in her chamber. There's candles lit. And her chamber's nearby, at least for the Bastion Mine. There's stairs and a tower constructed there. But Eerie, uh, I, I don't actually I know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> I think someone will eventually uh, tell us. She is at a city. We see lights in the towers around her. And there's a airship here that she's sitting at. Let's go ahead and visit her. Then we look around and see if there's any hearts in her realm. I like the gangplank going up to this. Looks like this can be folded and brought back into the airship. Oh, I like her outfit, too. I like the gloves that she's wearing. She looks like she means business. Let's go ahead and get our business done with her, then. Looking for the way up. This contraption won't fly anyone to the next limit. Even if you fill it with color. So don't get your hopes too high. 
Only a living soul full of color can ascend to the limit above. But that's impossible. Because there's only enough color for one. And you need two to accomplish this goal. Two loving hearts. If their love is true, the breakthrough will succeed. Just kidding. It's funny to us hungry souls, stuck here in this frozen wasteland. Quench my thirst, guest. I know you can. Grow some silver and crimson for me. I know what she's talking about now. Wow. Okay. I guess we'll talk a little bit about this. So, she's referred to something called Breakthrough, which we will hear a little bit more about later. So, I won't go into too much more about that until more of that is explained to us. But, like Ema, she was mentioning something about a sacrifice there. One person can ascend, but it takes a second to let that happen, which means someone has to give up their existence for the other to move onward, as it were. And she's made a reference to something... The upper limit? Is that what she described it as? I can't remember now. That's interesting. This makes it sound as if... I think it had been Lost Fremen who had uh, mentioned this. How the map we're traversing around... I've always thought it as a an actual, like map of, say, like, our Earth, only obviously it's, it's nothing of the sort. But maybe it's not a, a map of terrain where you're looking down on top of it. Maybe instead it's like a vertical slice of how we're moving, with Nameless being the lowest realm. And I, I, I'm going to call her Ayer. I don't know how to pronounce her name. And, uh, and Ayer here, it's an interesting na actually name to give her. Uh, Ayer here is on a higher plane of existence than Nameless is. I don't believe she is joking either. I think she just doesn't want to reveal everything that she ha that she knows to us at this moment. She's also going to be an athletic girl, so she's going to have different poses in regards to like running a race and stuff of that sort before we give her color. And I didn't forget that we don't have the colors I need in me. At the Stay moment. Closer. I was about to give her color and we can't do that. Or we can do that, but we're not going to. Let's go ahead and give us more silver. For the frost and then... We want gold. We don't have 85 gold. But we should have enough. Oh, we're out of... Free hearts. Okay, no problem. One of these crimsons can probably be shifted. We want all of the gold, since we otherwise won't have enough color, silver, to convert for her. That should be enough, but it's going to probably be every single drop of silver. So we might have to give her a little bit of crimson to fill that first heart completely. By the way, the color that you paint to the sister in order to begin speaking with her, it's not... It can be, but sometimes it's not deducted from your nerva. And I don't believe it impacts her directly. So if I was to use the colors that she would find poisonous gold or violet that's interesting both of the giving colors to open up the dialogue with her we haven't fed her those colors okay every drop of silver most likely We'll give her 112 and see if it's enough.
A joke is a joke. But there can be some truth behind it. A breakthrough is impossible because two must accomplish it. But only one will ascend. And no one here knows the meaning of selflessness. One must sacrifice himself and perform the rite of devotio. Devotio is when you give away all your blood to the last drop. Again, what Ima had told us about. Okay, so this makes a little more sense. So we're the only ones, according to Ima, who can perform the rite of devotio. So we're the only one who is able to help a sister ascend. But we only know that uh, about ascending as creating a sister from nothing. But I get the impression we won't be doing that. Which means that there's another aspect to ascending. Or it means multiple things. And we don't know what that second thing is quite yet. It's being hinted at here. And I actually know what they're talking about. But we'll talk about it more directly a few cycles from now. It was just barely not enough color. So, why don't we give her all the silver then? Eleven more will absolutely do it. It's not enough to give away all your blood. You need to collect enough first. A meaningless sacrifice won't do any good. The amount needed for a breakthrough is all the color of the void. No more, no less. That's what the legend says, and I believe it. In order to contain that much color, you must collect 20 hearts, and your one true heart as well. Then you'll reach Torgor. So in order to do the breakthrough, we need 20 hearts, and I'm guessing they must be filled with color, and I'm guessing we also need our Nerva completely filled as well, in order to perform the act. I have no clue what she's talking about with Turgor. I, I have not encountered that. So that's a bit of a... Or if, if I had, it was near the end of cycle 13 or 12, and I don't remember what on earth she's talking about. So... Great! We're, we're seeing things that I don't know what the answer is to at the moment. But more hints as to what's going to be required for a breakthrough. I think this is what... I think we're going to need to do that in order to complete the game in some capacity. But, once again, we need 20 hearts. And I think we might have half of that. So hopefully we can find the other hearts that we need in the other chambers. Her stare is so intense as well when she t turns to look at us. My goodness. <laughs> she, she really means business. All right, so... I think we can actually let leave all the colors in us that we currently have. We can definitely hold all of them here in our Nerva. The possible exception is Azure, but we can't, can't really put a whole lot of that back into us at the moment. We're going to get even more tomorrow. Although, well, let's... let's refill back up to 200. We'll leave one empty heart. Okay. We grew a gold tree, if I recall correctly, over in Ema's. So we can probably let all this other gold drain out of us. As long as we watch to make sure no brother's going to go to Ema's garden and be there at the beginning of the next cycle. Let's check here for any hearts that could possibly be here. There might be one here. I don't remember. And then we'll go ahead. I hear flapping, but I think that's actually supposed to be the wind flapping on the airship, the Zeppelin. Or what, look, what feels like a tarp here. Wow, look at the lattice work of all the wood around here. Oh, there's a stairs. That'll let us look down in this area. Maybe we can see a heart. 
Oh, I like the creaking here. No, I see no heart here. I hear some marching boots. I like that. Let's see if we can we hop down here. Okay, I don't see anything that looks like a heart here. All right, we've opened up now her chambers. We have 47 seconds left of the current cycle, and we don't have much else to do. So why don't we visit at least one of these locations? We'll visit Twist, this chamber. This looks a bit like fog. A wide open, rough terrained plain. In fact, it is fog. Just we just have these uh fences surrounding some of the trees. We don't need to interact with fog at the moment, or rather we're very how could we do so? We could grow a gold tree here, but we have a gold tree already growing in Ema's realm. So I don't think we'll put anything here at the moment. We also have no violet we can fill ourselves with. So we won't bother interacting with the trees here, but we will look around to see if there's any hearts here while we're here. Maybe this is the, is the place that also had the weird little, I don't quite know if it's an Easter egg, but there's something odd I found in one of these gardens. Let me look around and see if I can see it, and then we'll look around and talk about this particular place. Okay, it is here. It, it, so, I, I noticed this particular thing, and I'm not sure what it means, and maybe if one of you guys, so, how can I describe this? Because I don't want spoilers, but if you guys have seen this, Letting me know that you've seen it before, if you've seen this game play before, would be really handy. That. Do you see that? We probably have to pause the game as I'm jumping to get a good look at it. I'm familiar with what this references, but I don't know why it's here. <laughs> I don't know why it's here. Actually, we can get a good look at it from here, kind of. Yeah. And it's looking at us the whole time. Very odd. Very odd. The only way I... The only reason I even saw it... Uh, quite... Well, when I was here an age ago... Was because of... I got thrown into the air rather high after bouncing off something while avoiding... Actually, no, there was no predators here at the time. I, I, I think I just got thrown into the air. And suddenly I noticed it. Just outside of this garden. Very interesting. We haven't seen anything like that in any of the other gardens. That these glowing supports are around some of the trees makes me suspect that these needed some assistance to look the way they do. Actually, that's. I didn't. I never noticed before. Look at the roots from these trees. They go... Where does this one tree go? It goes into another tree. It's like they're all linked together. Like some sort of network. As opposed to just only going into the earth. In fact, some of the some of the roots that would go in the earth aren't going into anything. It's as if they feed off each other. Hmm. 
Anyway, the other chamber in her realm is one I've never been in. I don't even have it marked it down on my map as for what it could possibly be at the moment. So we'll go back to that later. We can hover over it as we're going back to Ava's. We want to be around, we want to be in Ava or Ema's chambers for the beginning of the next cycle because we're going to want to gather the color from those chambers without, and hopefully beat the brothers to it. All right, so we have 43 seconds left, but we've got nothing to do at this moment. I don't feel like growing any more bushes or trees at this moment. I want to wait to see how much color we can pick up tomorrow first. So let's head back over to Ava's to start. And I guess we'll use gold to move us there. Mantid is moving. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if that means something. I want to show you what I've seen. I suddenly saw something. I've never noticed that before. One second. I want to double check off screen before I, I talk with you guys. Give me a second. Okay. So. No, I shouldn't show you. I shouldn't. I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, I'll show you later. Not at not at the moment, but I noticed something when I was hovering over the mantid. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry for being so uh, cryptic and uh, secretive, but I don't want things spoiled at the moment. All right, so let's take a look at what is this place? Worm. Another reservation. This brother is going there. Okay. This was a test of your intuition. A very tricky test. And of course you failed. In fact, you couldn't pass. The truth was clear from the beginning. What was Montgolfier thinking? Look at yourself, imposter. Do you think it's this easy to trick us? The strange pulsations in your body, haven't you noticed? You're converting color. You're turning the last drops of our heaven's blood into poison, into an acid that will burn us all. You should be executed for this at once. But I have a better way. Not everything is lost. But this is your final trial. Go to the ancient reservation in Uta's chamber, where dwells a huge pangolin, a parasitic dragon-like creature that dissolves color. Go and kill it. I give you five cycles, young one, to help us all. Warden. He is rather creepy. One of the creepier brothers that we will see. He's pointed out that there was no way for us to pass the test that Mantid gave us. Since in any way we went about, we either solved it and proved we weren't who we said we were, or we failed it and thus proved we weren't a brother, able to manipulate color, or starved to death and died. Very manipulative. It's interesting how he described a poison that will kill us all when we when referring to Nerva, because he's not necessarily wrong. When we spend Nerva in a realm, once again, we are hurting that realm, diseasing it, corrupting it. More predators will appear, once again, as the realm is damaged more. 
We could cho always choose not to spend it, but I think as color is lost to the void, I think that still counts as damaging the realm. So we would have to, we would eventually, upon putting color into our hearts and losing it from there, we would eventually still be killing the realm around us. We have five cycles now to destroy the pangolin. That creature which we saw in the bows of the trees up in the pangolin reservation. We should go back there next cycle and see what we can do to begin that process. But we'll do that next cycle. I would like to be at, at one of these gardens first. And you know, we have enough crimson that we should probably grow a crimson tree. Even though we don't have the violet, Tim. No, we will win. Sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry, everyone. There's a whole lot of this I, I cut. <laughs> My mind's thinking, like, if I put, if I go to the Crimson Tree today, where is that going? How much Crimson will I have tomorrow? Why do I want it tomorrow? What are we doing tomorrow? And, and so on and so forth. I try thinking several cycles ahead, which is why I love this game, because I have to actually do that if I want to be successful at it. No, we're going to wait until the next cycle to grow a Crimson Tree since we will have the violet needed at that, at that point. I suppose on that note, on that point, let's go over to... Let's go over to... Bridge again. And we'll just wait there. Let's also... Oh, we're gonna speed our way there. Okay, so... We convert all the crimson. Maybe we do grow it today. slowly let the color drain through us convert through us it's gonna be like 70 crimson without a hundred violet and it's gonna be 40 crimson but we'd have it tomorrow no no let's just go over there oh my goodness how fast we're moving Two more brothers have appeared. Oh my goodness. One of those I thought we saw at the ending of the last episode. So I, I don't understand why we had Tyrant today. He should have rolled out of, the, out of the nothingness today, I'm guessing. And the other, that weird, headless, grotesquely obese creature pushing what looks like some sort of uh, wheelchair in front of him, a walker. That's the thing we saw on the edge of the ridge in Iyer's Garden of Twist. I've, I don't think any others show up like that. There, that must mean something, and I have no clue what on earth it means. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's go to bridge.
and wait here. Oh. Oh, Caterpillar! Okay. Uh, he's right next to us, so let's actually, let's go back. We're wasting color, arguably, but we're gonna go back and speak with him. I am Caterpillar, your mentor, and you are nobody, yet. Your one right and one responsibility is to study. The first lesson will merely give you food for reflection. Lymph of any color is precious. You must listen to the will of every color and combine colors carefully as they do not like each other. The colors were a shocking discovery for us as I know they are for you. There was nothing like them in our world. Lymph is our posthumous reward. We serve the Creator by preserving Lympha, but remember this. We do not know how to serve the colors. That is why color and danger are equal. Hearing the voice of color is a bad omen. Only the Devastators have this gift, but no one knows why. Perhaps you can help answer our questions. So he he was moving toward us because he wanted to talk with us. Let's let's speak about what he was saying together inside. We'll just walk around and talk for a little bit inside uh, bridge, and then we'll come back out here and end the current cycle. I think that'll be a good way. Oh, and it looks like this brother also wants to talk with us because he is moving a little quicker than they normally do. Okay, but let's go ahead. Cut the recording, which I was trying not to do, and talk with you guys for a bit out here about what Caterpillar has just said. So there's there's a bunch of things which seem contradictory now that we've seen. Of, of import is... And maybe you guys can help me understand what you guys... Like, I wouldn't mind your guys' thoughts on some of this. And I'll wait to record the next... The next cycle until this cycle goes up on my channel. I cycle five was just uploaded. And here I am re uh, recording cycle eight, so I'm I'm a week in uh, ahead. But the brothers are blind; they can't see, supposedly. But that must not be literal, because of color, unless they can see color but nothing else. I think it's a reference instead to, like, blind faith, as opposed to seeing other potential reasons for the existence of something, or how it's supposed to be utilized. I think that's what they mean by the brothers are actually blind. He was talking about combining colors. And maybe that was something that you used to be able to do to create new colors, right? Like, you can make orange by combining... Oh god. <laughs> Yellow and red, uh, I think. That's the way that works. And you could create violet by combining blue and red. Or crimson, uh, for example. I guess crimson is orange, isn't it? It is. Okay, so that's not red. But you could maybe create your own colors. But it sounds like the colors were supposed to be fighting with each other. Maybe at one point, all the colors had a different voice. But we are only hearing one voice speak to us. Although it's saying different things when we pluck up different colors. Or maybe, maybe they all have the same voice, but just look very different. He mentioned that only Devastators can hear color. But then he also said to serve the will of color. I thought he, I thought it sounded like, or he had let on that, or I'm inferring that he is, he's mentioned that if we should listen to what color's saying, because that's important. But on that same note, no one hears what color says. Only the Devastators have this power. And no one knows why. That must be the term they're using to creatures like us. Souls. Or maybe we are actually a brother. But souls or a brother who is able to use Nerva in the realm in order to perform tasks. Uh, 
but the brothers destroy things. They execute anyone who gives more color than what their laws allow, and who wastes it effectively by drawing glyphs or interacting with the using color in the world around them. They only preserve color. They only consume it. They don't utilize it in any other way other than to keep the sisters in their care alive. Hmm. They also can't hear what color tells them. Color has not told us anything beyond how the colors are supposed to be used at the moment. And even then, it's being rather cryptic about such. It's not given us any instructions. The caterpillar makes it sound like it will do so in the future. And I'll just tell you, yes, color will begin saying different things to us as we proceed onward, assuming we're able to survive a little longer in the void. But they, the brothers we've met, they, color doesn't speak to them at all. It speaks to the sisters, supposedly. But the brothers don't trust the sisters. I suppose a reason for that is the sisters want themselves to be given more color, but the brothers know that destroys the world. Why on earth would they allow the world to be destroyed? The sisters also, the more color you give them, the more powerful they become. Maybe the sisters are actually more of a more powerful than any particular brother. And the brothers know this, and so they keep effectively by starving them, or keeping them and giving them only what they require to exist. They're preventing them from becoming stronger than they are, potentially all of them together. Not everything in this game is telling us the truth, though quite a few bits of truth have been told to us at this moment. Anyway, just some things I like thinking about. I love how thought-provoking this game is. God, I, I want to talk to you guys about what I think is actually happening. But I have to wait a little bit longer to do that. Then we'll have like an hour episode where I'm just walking around in a place like this and talking to you guys about what I think everything means and how I think what this world represents. As a, and it could very well represent what we're seeing around us. This might be a world that we're existing in, but I think it's a metaphor for something else. We also still have the Easter egg over in, what's it called? Pharynx to go and look at. We'll do that on cycle 10. We'll look at that together. And now let's go back to the void and wait out the last of the cycle. All right, guys. Actually, before we wait out and make sure I've got enough color in me. Oh, we're running low on color in us, but that will be fine. We grew quite a few trees here. Okay. We're going to take all the emerald we've got and try to... Let's see, we can hold 100 emerald. We have 92 emerald total. Okay, we can convert all the emerald. And we'll be giving all of this to Uta tomorrow. We have, we'll have plenty of silver to give her as well. Once again, we grew a silver tree here. Wait, did I just say we'll give all the silver to Uta tomorrow too? No. We, sh we can also make up for what we don't give her via emerald with silver, since we have, we'll have plenty of that as well. Okay. I guess we can convert the last of this violet. Let's go ahead and finish out the cycle. Hope you guys like this. We have quite a few brothers walking around now. Here's Patriarch. Going to wherever it is he's going. Montgolfier is going somewhere. We should keep an eye on him. Because we may have to change. My plan was to leap into here tomorrow and grab the color, which I'm still planning on doing. But if a lot of color shows up in one of these areas, and he's heading there, we need to beat him there which means filling ourselves with Azure as quick as possible and speeding there using a, quite a bit of color to grab what shows up. If there's like a bright crimson or amber in one of these places, we want to make sure we get that before Montgolfier takes it. Azure, crimson, emerald, gold, 
azure, gold, silver, crimson, gold, silver, gold. Feast. Some see color as food, others see it as fuel, and some feel an autonomous will within it and tremble, and think and wonder, can it be pleased with a sacrifice? Some are thankful to just keep the crumbs, the brothers. Others spend while it lasts, the sisters. But everyone wants the same, plentiful color forever. Can it be summoned? Can it be created? Is anyone given the gift to hear it and understand its needs? Info of any color is precious. You must listen to the will of every color and combine colors carefully, because they do not like each other. To combine color mindlessly is taboo. We still... Uh, this... <laughs> I was just saying... Uh, the brothers can't hear color, so I don't understand what they even mean by listen. Unless that's a metaphor for something different as well. But we're done. We'll go ahead and stop here. Thank you guys for watching. In the next episode... We'll try to reach cycle 10. Our task now, to defeat the pangolin. Which I don't think we can do quite yet. But we'll go over there and see what if we can fight it. So, see you guys then. Thanks for watching, everyone. And take care.